Celeste is a platforming video game by Canadian video game developers Matt Thorson and Noel Berry. The game was originally created as a prototype in four days during a game jam, and later expanded into a full release. Celeste was released in January 2018 on Microsoft Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Mac OS, and Linux. Topic: Gameplay. Celeste is a platform game in which players control a girl named Madeline as she makes her way up a mountain while avoiding various deadly obstacles. Along with jumping and climbing up walls for a limited amount of time, Madeline has the ability to perform a mid-air dash in the eight cardinal and intercardinal directions. This move can only be performed once and must be replenished by either landing on the ground or hitting certain objects such as replenishing crystals although the player is granted a second dash later on in the game. Throughout each level, the player will encounter additional mechanics, such as springs that launch the player or feathers that allow brief flight, and deadly objects such as spikes which kill Madeline returning her to the start of the section. Lesser skilled players can also access an assist mode, where they can change some attributes about the game's physics. Some of these include, infinite air dashes, invincibility, or slowing the game's speed. Hidden throughout each level are optional strawberries, obtained through challenging platforming or puzzle-solving sections, which slightly affect the game's ending depending on how many are collected. Additionally, there are cassette tapes which unlock harder B-side variations of certain levels, and crystal hearts used to access post-game content. Beating all the B-sides then unlocks the C-side versions, which consists of very hard but short variations upon the levels. Upon clearing all C sides, the player can access the variance menu. The variance menu allows players to change the game's physics in a way similar to the game's assist mode. Some of these variant settings include speeding the game up, 360 degree dashing, and low friction to all flat surfaces. These settings serve to make the game either more challenging or more fun. The original Celeste Classic Pico 8 prototype can also be found as a hidden minigame. Plot A young woman named Madeline begins climbing the fictional Celeste Mountain, ignoring a warning from Granny, an old woman who lives there. After a short climb, Madeline camps out for the night, where she has a dream in which a dark reflection of herself, known as part of Madeline, breaks out of a mirror, attempts to stop Madeline from climbing the mountain, first verbally and then by force. Upon waking up, Madeline continues to an old hotel on the mountain, where the hotel's ghostly concierge, Mr. Oshiro, tries to persuade Madeline to stay. Madeline, feeling bad for him, tries to help him with his various problems, but becomes increasingly frustrated with his misguided attempts to keep her there. This ultimately leads to part of Madeline breaking out of one of the hotel's mirrors and creating an escape route for Madeline, however, she makes fun of Mr. Oshiro in the process, leading him to angrily chase Madeline out of the hotel. Later, Madeline meets up with Theo, another hiker who she had intermittently encountered along the way. As the two of them use an ancient gondola to cross a chasm, part of Madeline appears and causes the gondola to stall, leading Madeline to have a panic attack until Theo calms her down. After the gondola starts up again and reaches its destination—an ancient temple—Theo decides to explore it against Madeline's wishes, leading first him and then her to become entrapped in the temple's mirrors. In the Mirror Realm, Madeline meets part of Madeline, who denies any responsibility for the situation and leaves, forcing Madeline to rescue herself and Theo on her own. After escaping from the temple, Madeline falls asleep and dreams of meeting part of Madeline, who Madeline says represents everything that she needs to let go. Angered, part of Madeline sends Madeline plummeting, leading her to fall down the mountain when she awakens. At the base of the mountain, Madeline meets Granny, who says that part of Madeline might be just be scared and suggests that Madeline should try just talking to part of Madeline. Madeline takes this advice to heart and apologizes to part of Madeline when Madeline next meets her, offering to work together with part of Madeline instead of pushing her away. Part of Madeline initially lashes out due to Madeline's former attitude towards her, but after Madeline wears her down, part of Madeline ultimately relents, merging with Madeline. Together, the two work their way back up the mountain and finally reach the summit. One year later, Madeline returns to explore the mountain's secrets. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Development and release. Noel Berry Skytorn and Matt Thorson Towerfall created a prototype of Celeste in four days during a game jam, now named Celeste Classic. The result was a difficult platformer with 30 levels for the Pico 8 fantasy video game console designed for speedrunning and precision reflexes. Kill Screen noted that the game was a departure from Thorson's Towerfall, and had more in common with the game mechanics of his older games and Super Mario Maker work. The developers also took inspiration from difficult, Super Nintendo-era platformers. Barry and Thorson developed the game into a standalone release with over 200 rooms spread between eight chapters. They live-streamed parts of their development process on Twitch. The game was also demoed at the 2016 PAX West Indie Megabooth. Celeste released on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Windows, Linux and Mac OS on January 25, 2018. The original Pico 8 prototype is included in the game as an unlockable minigame. Reception Celeste received universal acclaim from critics. According to review aggregator Metacritic, Destructoid's Kevin Mercero called Celeste an essential gaming experience, saying, for the first time in ages, I have absolutely nothing to complain about. Tom Marks from IGN praised the game's story, and the way it was blended with the gameplay, saying, I cared deeply about Madeline's struggle and empathized with her in a way I wasn't expecting. The soundtrack of Celeste composed by Lena Rain and released by Materia Collective was highly praised by critics. A sheet music book and piano album was announced in early 2018 and a licensed lullaby album of jazz music based on the soundtrack, Prescription for Sleep, Celeste, was released in November 2018. Topic. Accolades Topic. In other media The main character Madeline, as well, part of her, are playable characters in the Nintendo Switch edition of Towerfall.